which had five barely uh, loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? But what are they among so many? Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for today. We give you glory and honor, we give you adoration. Father, we celebrate you for your word and your goodness. We thank you for your son Jesus who came and died for sins. Father, we thank you because you made it possible for us to come and gather before you today to worship and glorify you. Father, we pray that our praise and worship may be acceptable in your sight, O God. Father, even as we are about to listen to your word, speak to us so that we may hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Oh, many a times in life, we start to ask questions about what we have and what we can give. In the text that we read, we have that Jesus told the disciples to feed the people who followed him. At the end, the disciples said they have nothing to offer. But they find out that there was a little boy in their midst who had two loaves, five loaves of bread and two fish. But the disciples said to Jesus, what is five loaves of bread and two fish? And thousands thousand of people. In another words, they were saying that what was available was not enough. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that you think that what you have is not enough? I have come to tell you today that it is more than enough. That is more than enough. You have more than enough. You can do more than enough. The disciples look at the bread. At the moment. The disciples look at the fish that they had at the moment. And they begin to think that they will have enough to feed the people. But Jesus asked them that you have something to feed these people. And the Bible said, Jesus didn't ask that question because he doesn't know what to do. The Bible said he knew what to do. But he asked to test their faith. He asked to know if they really believe that what they have is enough to feed the people. And that is the reason with us today in the world somebody may have an item food. When you got, when you need, you need a food, then you have an item food. After the item food, you will not begin to think that you need a Samsung phone. When you got a Samsung phone, you will not begin to think that you need an iPhone. When you have the iPhone, you will not begin to think that you need another phone that will not even be created. So we always think that what we have is not enough. We always think that what we have is not enough. Even in our personal lives, there are some of you, you have some things in you. There are some of you, you have some things that you got. Some people may have one house. They will not begin to think that this one house is not enough. Let me build another house. Somebody may have one car. And that person will not begin to say, this one car is not enough. I need to have more cars. Somebody may have, a, let's say, a PC or an HTC or a diploma or a degree, but these same people may start out to think that this degree, this HTC, this PC is not enough. I need to go for a higher qualification. Always we think that we don't have enough. Also you come into the Christian life, you, 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 you will start to be kind of a Sunday school teacher. But to not reach a point, some people begin to think that being a Sunday school teacher is not 
my mother had put my lunch in the bowl. And then somebody said, give me your bowl. I, I, I imagine how we grab our bowl. I, I imagine how we grab our school bags. I imagine what, even when uh, 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 the, the, the school teacher said, give me your bowl. He said, no, mama, I'm not going to give you my bag. Because my, my, my love of bread is in that bag. Because my lunch is in that bag. Because my lunch bowl is in that bag. But if you imagine that little boy, his lunch bowl was taken, his bread was taken, and that little boy allowed his bread to be used to feed 5,000 people. What are you thinking about? That talent that God has deposited in you, that, that, that morale that God has given you, that opportunity that God has given you, that small thing you think is small that God has given you, God can use that little thing that he has given you to do mighty things to your life, to do greater things to your life. Question because he wants to ask, but he wants to test them if they believe in themselves, if they believe what they have. So there we don't believe in what we have.
more than enough. We have to trust in God. We have to believe in God. We have to look up to God. Because he is more than enough. Whatsoever we have in our position is more than enough to do what God wants us to do. We don't need to run after bigger things. We don't need to run after greater things. Oh, you, you want us now to begin to go to radio? To be preaching? So that people may know that we have a church in Alaska that is called Betty Christ? You want when, when, when I appear inside, you say, Oh, this is the pastor in charge of Betty Christ? Oh, Papa! Oh! We are just small boys, small girls, small church, small people, doing mighty things, doing better things. We want to be small and do mighty things. We want to be small and do better things. We don't want to be big. Because when you are big, the more you be, the more the expectation. The more the money, the more the expectation. The more the people, the more the expectation. But we are saved today. That whatsoever that God has put into this place, that whosoever that God has brought into this place, we are more than enough. We are more than enough. We are more than enough. I am more than enough. You are more than enough. God is more than enough. If we have our God who is by our side, what again do we need? What again do we want? We have God. We have Jesus. We have the Son. We have the Spirit, we have the Father, we have more than enough. That is why the Bible said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Why? Because Christ lives in me, I can do mighty things. Because Christ lives in me, I can do greater things. Because Christ lives in this church, we are going to do mighty things. Because Christ dwells in your house, you are going to do mighty things. Because Christ lives in your family, you are going to do greater things. Because He is born. Not ever to grow up on yourself. Not ever to break yourself. Because of your financial standing, ah, I'm not getting the money. If they do program, I'm going today. They're not going to recognize me. They're not going to know me. No. Whatsoever you have is more than enough. You remember that woman? The widow's fight? The Bible said the widow's, the widow gave all that she had. Those more, the least of all that gave it. But God accepted her offering more than any other. Why? Because she gave with all her heart. She gave with all her might. She gave with all her strength. She gave with all her ability. She gave all that she had. Christian friends, I want to encourage you today. Don't ever, don't ever look low upon yourselves or upon the time upon the deep things, upon the things that God has planted in you, upon the things that God has put into your heart, your life, to serve Him in any capacity that you are called to serve. Or this position, or this place that I'm supposed to serve is too small for me. No, you are more than able, more capable, more strong, more empowered to serve in that capacity. To achieve what God wants you to achieve. Because you are more than enough. Whatsoever it is that you are doing, don't ever, don't ever underestimate yourself thinking that you cannot do it. Your dream that you have in your heart, in your mind, pursue your dream. That dream will come to light. Whatsoever plan that you have, whatsoever things that you are put in place to do, pursue it. You can su survive, you can succeed if only you can win, if you are not afraid, if you are not hesitated that God can solve the problem for you, that God can take you to hell, that God can intervene, that God, you know, the problem of hell is hesitation. You hesitate, you are afraid, you don't have confidence, you, 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 you don't believe in yourself. Self-defeat. Self-defeat. Self-condemnation. You think that you cannot do it. But today I've come to challenge you. Today I've come to encourage you. Today I've come to tell you that you are more than enough. That God is more than enough. That Jesus
just a small guy, no. In that your dream, in your business, in your finance, in your marriage, in every situation, in your job, in your career, in your education, God is, to, is saying to you that you have more than enough. You can do more than enough. You can achieve all your dreams. You can enter into your God-given destiny. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe that you can do it. Believe that God can use you in that small corner. Believe that God can use you with that small money to do big business, to do mighty things. Believe that God can use you as a cleaner, as an usher, as a praise and worshiper, as anybody in this church. God can use you in every position. God can use you in that small corner to do greater things. Remember, the Bible said, the little boy. His five loaves and two fishes were used to feed 5,000 people. Today, I don't know what it is that God has placed in you, what it is that God has planted in you, what it is that God has deposited in you. Today, you can stand up and take up the challenge and believe in yourself and believe that you are more than enough in the mighty name of Jesus. Please stand up and pray with me. What it is that you will pray for? What it is that God has put into your heart, into your life, to serve God? God is saying something to you. Some of you, from the day you started coming to church, from the day you became a Christian, God has given you the word. God has given you a vision. God has directed you, like God has told you something to do. But you are afraid. You are thinking that you are not enough to do that job. You are thinking that you are not enough, that, 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 that you, are not, you are not important, that you are not fit to do what God has called you to do. But today I have come to announce to you that now is the time. This is the time that you have to surrender yourself to God. That God will use that talent in you. That God will use that gift in you. That God will use that opportunity in you. That God will use that position in you. That God will use what you have do mighty things. You go think say what you don't know plan for you is small. You go think that it's doing what you want is small. But I want to tell you today that you can do more than you can do. It is more than enough. God is more than enough. More than enough. 
position. Yes. She's being assisted under demonic power. Only the anointing can break that yoke. And the anointing is going to break this yoke today. Forever and ever. Amen. I lose you. And I don't see you.
we glorify your holy name. We thank you for the work that you've done here today. The breakthrough will not happen. The deliverances will not happen. They are here and amen. They are settled in heaven and on earth. Because the Bible says, whatsoever we find on earth shall be found in heaven. Whatsoever we lose on earth shall be lose in heaven. Anybody who will be running under bondage, they are free and free indeed. Because the Bible says, he who the Son of God set free is free indeed. You are free today. Your prize are over. Your pains are over. Your battles are over. Every pain, every trouble you don't go through is over today. Because our God is more than enough.